Okay guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do some quick tests to show you the before and afters of uh, correct color spacing. I got my camera set up on my tripod, so we're going to run some video and embed it into this video to show you the switches. Unfortunately, if I record it with this software, you're not going to see the difference between the before and afters. So I have to use an external source to show you guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to set up your ATI settings, NFT show settings, to correctly display the shaders in uh, an HTPC hooked to HDMI cable up to an LCD TV. This is uh, a little different for a monitor, but for TV you have to set it a certain way in order to get the correct shades. And we'll show you that in a second. So what we're going to do is load up our ATI Catalyst uh, Control Center. The first thing I do is I select dig my digital panels, select the panel, and make sure that the enabled E ITC processing is enabled. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you this option first. So as, as I'm showing the video here, I'm going to have a little video on the top of the corner showing you as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull up the video. Okay. And I'm just going to start recording with the camera so we can see what we're doing here. Okay. So now the camera's recording. You'll notice that his eyeball, with it enabled, you'll notice the shades across the flesh tones are perfect, behind the ear into the darks. His shade up in his eyebrow is correct. Now, let's disable ITC processing and see what it looks like. It's going to be a lot brighter. The Now the TV controls are taken over. You'll notice the shade in the eyes got all blotchy. There's no detail. The colors are brighter. But the shades across the backs and the backgrounds are separated, as you see here, behind the ear. And let's enable it again to show you. Now, it's, the correct setting is to enable ITC processing to disable the TV controls. Let's do that again. Now the TV is disabled, and you'll notice the shading across the back of the ear is correct. It blends into dark with no patches. And up in the eye, the shade's correct up in the eyebrow. And underneath the skin tones right here. So this is the first setting. Let's... Uh, talk about pixel format okay mine's is set to RGB 444 it comes defaulted at YCB CR 444 um, let's switch it to that default and let's show you the difference in the shades to apply this is default with ITC processing enabled now you'll notice that the colors turned a little greener it's really, it's really hard to record this with a camera and you'll notice that the shades are separated a little behind the ear and the eyebrow. Now let's go switch it over to where I had it originally. PC standard full RGB, RGB 444. Hit apply. And it'll switch again. And you'll notice that the shade colors are nice. The greens are gone. And it's a nice blend across the face, ear, behind, and up in the eyebrow. So that's for the shaders. Uh, let's let's take another example. Let's pause this video and I'll get another clip from another movie, like say uh, in a dungeon, so you can see the difference in the shades and the darkness of a dungeon. Okay, we just pulled up another movie now in my archive. This is a backdrop of a uh, temple wall. You'll notice that the smoke here is. Uh, this is with the, the disabled. This is the TV controls taken over. Just take a note of visualize that, and I'm going to enable the ITC processing for the video card to take over to override the controls and shut down the TV controls. And now it's shut down. Now you'll notice, do you see the blend and how it blends different? I hope I, can, I hope you can see this on the camera here. Let's try again. Let's just disable it. Okay. So, and then let's enable it again. So now the TV's controls are shut off. And then we'll enable it. TV controls are on. Okay. Let's just pick out a different scene. Okay, guys. Here's a close-up of another movie. The image of a face. My eye. It'll look right here. You see the blending across the shot, across the uh, skin tones. This is uh, with ITC process and enabled, which means the TV controls are off. Let's switch from video card to TV and press apply. Now you'll notice a drastic difference. Do you see the colors now, how they're all red and garbly? 
you get this all over your video if you don't have it set up right. So you want to have correct shaded. So I guess this would probably be the best picture to show you how, how it works here with skid tones. Push apply again. We're going to turn on the video card controls and turn off the TV controls. And there you go. And there's the blend. Pull up the control panel. And pull up this control panel here. Okay. So let's go back to square one. Digital flat panel. You want to enable EITC processing. You can try these tests at home. You will notice a big difference having your TV controls disabled and your video card taken over for everything. So you enable that. The color spec, I showed you some test shots. You want to set it to RGB 444 so you can get all the correct shading in the blacks from the darks to whites. We're going to want to keep that. Yes. Okay. So now that that's done, let's cover video color. Now, the color I have set to use AMD settings. It's set to standard, and these ones are all default. This one's off. This is off and off. Dynamic range is checked, and it's set to 0 to 255. It's important you set that to the full and not to limited. And you enable video gamma, and you set it to 0 0.85. These are very important options to get the true black and the true colors. Um, let's see here. Let's go to quality. Edge enhancements enabled at 10. Uh, Denoise is off. Mystique noise reduction off. Deblocking, decontouring. All these are off. And this was used automatic setting. So it doesn't, even though it says a direction adaptive, it doesn't mean nothing. It's going to pick it automatically per movie. And these ones are off. Okay, so now we showed you the ATI control panel. Let's talk about the. Uh, you got to set an MPC. Let's load it up. Let's go to options. Um, make sure that uh, I already covered this earlier. These two are enabled. Priority. Internal filters. Make sure that this one's unchecked here. And these ones are unchecked up here. And Muskoka is unchecked. Let's uh, go down to right click render settings. Now, if you're using an LCD, I suggest you enable this. Output range is set to 0 to 255. Presentation color management is enabled now. Not like the other video. The input type is HDTV. Ambient light set to dim 2.35 gamma. And this one's set to perceptual. So, those are my settings in. FD show, actually I have to show uh, MPC. Let's open up the thing again. We'll talk about. Uh, let's see here, setting these up. Uh, shaders output. I use use video mix and render nine. If you put it on, I've seen some guys suggest this. Enhance video render custom presentator. That will cause your audio to glitch and not line up with your video. This is the best render to allow sync of video and audio. Okay. And I believe uh, one more thing we need to do is load up FT Show codecs. Uh, let's go find them. 64 bit. And this is the control panel for 64 bit FT Show. Uh, you're going to need to make a couple minor changes in here in the output and RGB output. You're going to want to take off this check mark, this one, this one, and this one. Because we want to use RGB spec from video card source material to video card to TV. We don't want to change or, or down convert or up convert while the video is playing. We just want the signal to go smoothly through all three sources. So you're going to just check this, uncheck this, 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 and this. Most people would probably use this option right here. I would not suggest it. You can try enabling these and looking at your video signal, and you'll notice that the, the the shadows get really bright and garbly and crap. That's the one you want to check, and then check the rest of them. And make sure this is checked here, and this is all set like this. Under RGB conversion, you want to select to auto. 
This is for DVD playback, and this is for Blu-ray. So it'll automatically switch between the two, depending upon which one. If you have a VOB file or an M2TS file, the codec will automatically switch. Check this, high quality YUTV to RGB conversion. Use Ditherin. Set this to full range, 0255 to 1255. And leave this checked at computer monitor. Even though I'm using a TV, I'm going to want to use a computer monitor. Press apply. Ah, phone's ringing. We're right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry, the phone call there. Phone's ringing. Okay, so like I said, you want to select the uh, computer monitor RGB 0 to 255, and then press OK. Try those settings out, guys. Watch your movies. Uh, you'll find that the colors aren't as vivid. They'll be a little bit dimmer, but not too much. But you'll get the correct shading in the background, and you'll see everything behind the characters, like the hallways and the wallpaper, and everything will all blend correctly.